black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yes, hello and welcome to another installment of Best Pizza Eater on the Internet Machine while mildly hung over. Why do I always sing when I'm hung? I don't know. It is what it is. Okay, anyways, this guy. Love him. He's an iconic legend in my life. Just this weird-headed dude. I feel like him. I'm going to be him momentarily. <laughs> like that. Why does every kid, why does every muck bonger and people on the internet do photos like that in their thumbnail? That they're just it's like they're sucking a big old pizza cock. Right. Okay. Big boy. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, if you must. It's a za thing. We got just a normal extra cheese and pepperoni. Pepperoni West. And we're, and we're going to slide and glide this guy. We have these creamy gargars and a bag of ranch. And by that I mean a little bowl and a Pepsi. And some hot sizzity sauce. And we're going to make a thumbnail now. I'm going to spare you those details. Well, no. You know, I'm going to put a pizza cock in my mouth. So if we're going to make this proper, we need to have the right piece for the thumbnail. We need to have the right piece to make this worthwhile. And this is the one right here, guys. This first one right here, I think, is looking to be the main prize. And the cook on this saw is looking fiery and fantastic we must hot sauce it a little as well just to give it that extra thumbnail flair all right we go mm -hmm. yes of course. That is a two-gun salute. To the gods. Little Caesars. The Grecian gods. Of the Caesars realm. Mm-hmm. That's where the gods come from, right? Greek gods? Aphrodite's. And the rest of them. Caesar's. Caesar's palace. I believe I'm right. No. No. <laughs> no. How could I forget? I forgot to pour. <laughs> okay. I forgot. I forgot to pour. I'm sorry. Before we do anything more, we must pour. Got the best iceberg in the world today. It's that gas station cube, baby. I love these gas station cubes. <laughs> the way they fall into the cup, the way that this beautiful Pepsi, full sugar, by the way, doing it crazy. Oh, it foams up like a natural disaster. It's so good. Volcanic in nature. But bruh, I am telling you that in my last mildly hungover video, the McDonald's one, I talked about how, you know, pizza and McDonald's are my go-to guys. And somebody said, and I forgot to mention this, and you're so incredibly right. When you're hungover, sugary carbonated beverages are everything. That's special today. They're everything. This right here is <clears throat> the hangover here. Oh, Absolutely. Okay, so I have creamy garlic dipping sauce from the Greek gods themselves. And we're going to take it 
baby piece. Who needs a baby piece? Before we do that, we need to take it to a crazy psychosis level. And if you've watched any of my pizza videos before, you've seen the back-to-back -back <coughs> flavor slam sandwich. That is this. It's a times two. Full flavor WWE SmackDown Raw. That's what it is. And it's gotta be. In my past, I've seen people sandwich pizza, cheese, and stuff in the middle. But I always thought to myself, that makes no sense. I want to taste all the good shit. First and foremost, when I bite into it. You know what I mean? Don't be hiding away on the interior in the pocket. Mm-mm. so different that is going down the rabbit hole of the internet that is dark web through my body right now best way I can explain it Creamy gargar is good. We're going to take it back to the ranch real quick. Is it better? I don't know. A little hot sauce. The hot sauce in the ranch. Does take it to places that the creamy garlic just can't go, I think. Although the creamy garlic and the hot sauce is nice. Let me ask you all this. Is there any other weirdos out there like me that when you take a like a sip of like a cold beverage with the ice, da da da, like a pop, do you are you like a one of these weirdos like me where you like you kind of like tight tongue to the rim of the glass, like you kind of like press your tongue against the rim of the glass and you slowly like suck the pop in in and around and under your tongue like in this area of your mouth? Like it's very like you control the flow through and under the sides I don't know if I'm I'm definitely not the only one that's for sure but <clears throat> I think there's a specific style of soda drinker that keeps it like tight lipped that's 
kind of like you restrict and control the flow of the pot going in with the tongue. This is the best way I can describe it. It's amazing. I love the feeling of it. I'm such a sucker for texture, for mouthfeel. Soda, the way I drink my soda, I like chips. The way I eat ice cream. When I eat ice cream, I'm very like, I'll grab a mound on the spoon and then I'll like take like smooth layers off. Like I won't just take the bite of the whole ice cream in my mouth. I'll like kind of give it an ice cream blow job. And uh, just kind of strip layers and make it smooth until it's like small on the spoon and then I'll just take the rest. My finishing move. Man, that whole conversation <laughs> was so suspect. But whatever. It's what it is. I want to take down the whole pie, but I can feel the fullness creeping. Not there yet, though. To be honest, it's just that I'm enjoying there so much. Easily the star of the show today. All right. Let's try to make this dream come true. Let's go for it. Go for the gusto. Nice. It's my mom's birthday tonight. We're going bowling. I'm down. I'm excited. Rented the lands for two hours. Then I got a little tip, say. And chalk some five pin. Not my favorite. I like 10 pin, but my mom's also an old woman. So she's not really. in the lane to be throwing these tens at her age. To be honest, five pin is harder than ten. <laughs> the spaced out pins is so hard to strike. I don't get it. Sure the ball's easier to toss, but to actually get a strike in five pin, you have to have like amazing like spin technique so that the first pin ricochets and then the ball goes the other way. In 10 pin, if you just chalk her down kind of like in the middle, <clears throat> it's pretty, not guaranteed, but it's, you know, you'll get a strike pretty often, I feel like. At least in my experience. Five pin, not so much. Five pin is legit difficult, so... Will be fun, no matter what. I love the little competition of bowling while you're a little bit drunk. It's like the funnest sport to me ever. Just drinking and having fun. <clears throat> this I can't do. I will 
it won't be nice if I keep eating. So I'm going to stop it there. Um, weird, random, sporadic one. Mildly aggressive at times, but it is what it is. Um, hope you enjoyed that one. I certainly did. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.